I'm Ray Debanko. We're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of fall application of elemental sulfur. Fall application of elemental sulfur has been something that's been gaining more and more interest and popularity among prairie farmers, eastern Canadian farmers, and certainly uh, American growers in the northern northern Great States, uh, northern Great Plain states, and the northern tier states. So when we're thinking about what's driving the increase in popularity and the interest in elemental sulfur, aside from some of the you know, the economic aspects we'll talk about. There's been operational efficiencies and it's been agronomic efficiencies. If we're thinking about the operational efficiencies, as a farmer, it's very compressed season. There's lots to do in the spring and anytime you can move an operation agronomically sound from the spring to the fall, you lessen the pressure in the spring. So if we're looking at applying elemental sulfur in the fall, which by the way is a good management practice when you're first getting into an elemental program, you're moving a nutrient application and a drill fill and downtime to seeding from the spring into the fall. And if you can couple that or piggyback it, if you will, with other fall field work, uh, if you're doing some fall tillage, if you're smoothing out ruts, if you're making another nutrient application that's compatible with an elemental product in terms of the application method and the timing, it just improves operational efficiency. If you're just getting into an elemental program, you recognize that the elemental granule is a large piece. It's made up of much smaller particles. What we need to have happen is that large granule break down into many small pieces so the microbial community, the oxidizing bacteria in the soil, have a certain amount of surface area exposed so they can break down that elemental sulfur to sulfate form. That becomes more important in the spring. But in the fall, you're starting that process of breakdown. So if we leave it on the surface of the soil in the fall time, and then we get freeze, thaw events, we get rain, we get snow. What happens is that granule degrades, the degradable granule breaks apart and it turns to mush, scientifically speaking, and it exposes many of the finer particles for that oxidation. So starting that in the fall not only gives you that operational efficiency because you've made that application in the fall instead of the spring, but it gives it a head start on the oxidation that you need to convert it to, el to the elemental to sulfate. So physically the granule is broken down over the fall and the winter. Come spring, you have that exposed surface area. As the growing season starts and the soil starts to warm up and the microbial community gets more active, it starts to break down, oxidize that elemental sulfur to the season-long sulfate source that the crop needs. The preferred method for fall applied elemental sulfur would be broadcast, left on the surface, unincorporated, and then incorporate that with your spring field work, whether it be a, a, a seedbed preparation or the actual seeding operation. So in the fall, preferred to leave the granule on the surface, expose it to the environment, don't do anything to incorporate it. That will speed the breakdown and the eventual oxidation. The other benefit, three that we talked about, is the, the economic benefit. I think as a, as a producer, you well know that there are certain times of year that certain inputs are more expensive than others. And certainly fertilizer, probably 19 years out of 23 jumps in price from the fall to the next spring. So if you can purchase your fertilizer in the fall, there's definitely going to be a cost savings. If you can store it in the ground, there's even a further cost savings. So that elemental application in the fall precludes the need to have your retailer having it in storage and charging you storage charges or a certain couple percents over the months from fall to spring. Or if you have on-farm storage, that gives you more bin space for other fertilizers or to use for other storage. So storing it in the ground definitely makes sense. If you look at your suite of sulfur products in the marketplace for, for inputs for, for different crops, um, elemental sulfur has a very high analysis depending upon the product type, 85, 90%. So if you look, that, at, look at that on a cents per pound basis, it's very economical to use a high analysis product. So if I've got something that's 90% of a given nutrient and I've got something that's 24%, when you work out the cents per pound, you see there's a quite disparate difference in the unit cost of nutrient that you're getting. So the high analysis products are more economically uh, sound, if you will, or a better value for your dollar spent. And the other thing to remember when we're talking about the fall application, and I mentioned agronomic efficiencies, operational efficiencies, and economic efficiencies, this next comment really fits under all three of those areas. So it wasn't mentioned as in one, one part. And really where it fits for all three is the idea of leachability. So sulfate sulfur we know is mobile in the soil and it can leach with rainfall. If we apply ammonium sulfate in the fall and you have a wet spring and potential for leaching exists, some of that fall applied ammonium sulfate could potentially be leached below the root zone. 
with a fall application of elemental sulfur. Again, you have most of it still in the elemental form and it's going to resist that leaching. It's going to be exposed and open for oxidation in the spring, but because it hasn't converted to sulfate yes, yet, it's not going to be prone to leaching. Hey, it was great talking to you guys again. Hopefully you found something of interest and enjoyable. I uh, really want to engage you. Always open to questions. We're going to do a series of videos. We're going to do further work on sulfur, but any kind of questions you have, get in contact with the Keg River folks. Subscribe to their video, and we'll get your questions answered. Take care and talk to you soon.